Hi, I'm Siraj. In my previous demo, we have seen a new feature of SharePoint 2013 beta called JS Link, and we did custom formatting of rows and columns of a list. In this demo, I'll walk through another new feature called SharePoint Instead Apps, and hence we're gonna be creating a SharePoint Apps, and also provision a page with a view leveraging accessibility list view part for rendering using modules. Also, we're gonna be reusing most of the code from our previous demo to save time. Before starting a demo, let us look at most, uh, some of the most important prerequisites that we need to take care, or else we're gonna be having a very frustrating experience while creating SharePoint Apps. First. Make sure a compatible version of SharePoint with the MS Office Developer Tool for Visual Studio 2012 is installed. Second, make sure you have configured your DNS server properly and you're able to ping. Third, make sure you have configured app management and subscription services using PowerShell. Fourth, verify app and sub subscription services are running. Fifth, verify app and subscription services are configured properly in service management. Sixth, verify you have configured app catalog site and Seventh, verify you have configured app URL. Hence, once you have taken care of all required prerequisites, now we can start our demo by adding a new project to Visual Studio 2012. Add a new project. Apps for SharePoint 2013. SharePoint hosted apps. Once the project is created, open appmanifest.xml and provide title and a name. Next, we need to replace the app icon with our custom app icon. Hence, we need to navigate to image module and replace the image. Copy the path. And replace with our custom image. Next, we need to copy all the demo e uh, demo files, the wonder images and the JavaScript file to the page module section. Uh, the JS file and the wonder images. Next, we'll try to do some reuse by copying a list that we have created in our previous demo to our new app project. Copy the list. Once the list is copied, we can remove this project. Next, open feature one file and and add all related artifacts for activation and deployment. Next, open the schema.xml and replace the JS link. In our previous demo, we have added uh, this JS, uh, JS link URL to, uh, to, create custom formatting of, to create custom formatting of rows and columns. Now we are trying to reuse the same list in SharePoint hosted apps. I'll copy a new link. Here the first part of the URL, app web, is a dynamic token uh, to a SharePoint site where the app is deployed. Pages, in the, pages is a folder uh, within that app web. JS is again a folder within pages. And finally, we have a JS file. Next, open default.aspx and add JavaScript file, ref, and web part zone.
we'll add a reference to this JavaScript file. Wonders of the world. Next, I'll add a new module section in element.xml. Here, I'm instructing uh, SharePoint to provision a page called default.aspx. Uh, and on that page, add a view called the wonders of the world uh, with a base view IDS2 and render the view using XSLT list viewer part. You can find the base view ID here in schema.xml where I've defined a base view IDS2. The final step is to deploy the project. Right click and say deploy. Once the project is successfully deployed uh, correctly, navigate to all that contain and navigate to our app. So let's verify. Okay. Refresh our site. Here is our app. And wonderful, we have created SharePoint hosted apps and provision a custom list having JS link feature and provision a page with a view leveraging XSLT list view web pod. Please mark Google Plus and Facebook likes and shares if you like the video and encourage to submit many more feature features of SharePoint 2013 beta.